So hello and good afternoon. I welcome you to today's Trading Spotlight webinar here on Friday. It's the 11th of March, 2022. And uh, today we want to dig deeper into something uh, you have here on your on your charts every day, candlesticks. Uh, give a quick introduction to them. And beside that, um, you probably have wondered whether there are candlestick pattern, so like a bullish, bullish engulfing or hammer or shooting stars. You probably have heard about them or read about them in uh, books from Steve Nyson, the uh, introducer of these uh, candlesticks in general in the Western world, especially in the Western trading world. And uh, you've probably wondered um, whether there are patterns which are more profitable than others or where you can uh, draw with a higher certainty than from other candlestick patterns uh, the direction of the market and this is exactly what we want to have a look at here today in today's trading spotlight webinar so have a look at um, some of the most profitable candlestick patterns and the proven um, most profitable candlestick patterns and um, yeah, that's it. That's it around today's uh, topic and then what we want to dig deeper into. Before we start, um, if you watch the recording now on YouTube, please feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Set a reminder so that you don't miss any of the videos which we are, we are producing here for you. Um, it's not just webinars together with me, but also with my colleagues, Paul and Marcus. And um, leave a thumb up here if you if you like what you will see in the upcoming minutes. Um, leave a comment, please. Um, leave a comment below. Questions if you have any questions. If you have any kind of candlestick patterns yourself, you found out to be highly profitable, probably with some adaptations. Share your thoughts. Share your um, comments here below the video, and uh, we'd really appreciate here answer your questions respectively. Um, discuss these patterns together with you, and uh, let all our our trading profit from the thoughts and discussions around it. So let's share the screen. First of all, here, this is the first slide. And um, so I can already see that uh, some of you have found here the chat box. This is um, where I now type in hello traders and where you can ask all your questions. For all the people who are watching this now here uh, live in Zoom, uh, please feel free to ask your questions. And um, that's it. Yeah, that's it around the introduction. So uh, let's uh, straight away jump here into what what we want to look at: profitable candlestick trading or profitable candlesticks pattern, or um, pattern uh, in candlesticks which you can use in your trading to trade profitably. So profitable trading with candlesticks. Um, before we um, officially start, um, I'd like to introduce Admirals to you. If you um, haven't yet. Um, that, that's an interesting part. Um, so I, I, I go into the question and in a few seconds um, here um, from Benjamin asking if I can uh, share the PowerPoint. Um, I, I have a, um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, of um, uh, not a big fan of sharing the PowerPoint, but, but it's not because there's some uh, hidden uh, features in it or I don't want to share with them. But um, um, I have a reason for that, not sharing the, the, the PPTs, um, because um, usually what I tended to do, what I found on myself and then also um, observed over the years when I uh, did presentations, um, was that if I shared the PowerPoint, it's like you have a feeling now you don't need to uh, listen to uh, the provided content anymore, or um, you don't need to um, 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 stay till the end of the webinar or a seminar, uh, if it was a physical or um, um, a presentation or um, here in online format, um, not asking questions because you think, well, you have now everything you need. You have the presentation and you can uh, all the time go into the presentation um, and, and, and look it up. The thing is, you don't do this. Um, and this is something where I found out that um, it's probably not such a good idea to share the, the PowerPoints. A again, so it's it's no big deal to share them, but um, I'm still, I think um, I'm, I'm a little hesitant um, um, because people tend to to um, yeah, become lazy, let's say, and then don't want to want to stay until the end, really ask and think about it themselves, um, take notes um, and, and do everything they can to um, to to um, um, really grasp the concept or grasp whatever the topic is today, candlesticks. So um, that's that's why I answered that with no. Yeah. So. Uh, Let's have a look here at the broker behind this, um, behind this this trading spotlight webinar series. So about admirals, um, 
you probably have heard about Admirals before. Um, Admiral Markets um, saw a rebranding over 2021, being 20 years now in the financial um, um, service industry here, especially um, known for the very broad offering when it comes to FX and CFD trading and um, global presence around the globe. So um, fully regulated brokers, SISEC, ASIC regulated in Australia, um, in Europe, SISEC, in the UK, FCA. Um, most recently, that was also now um, 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 an office where respectively the regulatory body overseeing the business from Atmos in Jordan. So. Um, all informations can be found on the website and the rebranding, which took place then in 21, uh, was because um, Admirals is now also looking for offering more than just more than just put this in quotation marks trading and brokerage, but also, for example, offering a credit card, also offering um, services um, around wallet solutions. So you probably have seen that in the traders room. Um, there's this gold wallet. So if you um, 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 invest or not invest, but um, if you if you deposit money with Admirals, um, you you not just have it in let's say euro USD British pound whatever, but you can also uh, transfer it into a gold wallet, and then you have there the possibility um, to yeah, especially in the current environment, um, uncertainty um, um, really hitting hard. Um, invest your funds in paper gold. Let's put it that way. And now there was another um, step being made um, towards the world of crypto. Now you have also the possibility here to uh, transfer your funds if you want into crypto, for example, um, without having to open um, a trading account and, and, and then um, buy, let's say, Bitcoin or Ethereum, whatever. But um, you really um, you can you can um, yeah, somehow park your money um, um, with this this Bitcoin wallet and then transfer the money from there directly into your trading account. If this is of interest for you and then it's directly converted, let's say, into USD, Euro, whatever um, um, currency you're choosing there for your trading account. So um, financial service. Um, um, beside physical stocks being offered, um, multi-asset brokerage, and so on and so forth. All informations can be found on the website, admiralmarkets.com. For further infos, respectively, admirals.com. One world, one broker, I already mentioned it. In regards to uh, the fully regulated um, 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 broker, we, we, we see here. And um, so, but now let's dig deeper into today's topic and have a look here at today's agenda. First of all, um, I will give a quick introduction to candlestick patterns. Um, what are candlesticks? Where do they come from? How to read a candlestick? This is very basic for many of you, probably. Probably there is still something new um, for some of you um, because usually you, you just say, okay, well, I, all I want to have is, is a candlestick chart, um, which is mostly used from from many many um, 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 trading platforms as a let's call it yeah default um, so th this is like this is the starting point I've never opened a trading platform myself um, and and saw first um, um, I, I only saw a, a line chart let's say um, probably a bar chart but most of the time it's a candlestick chart um, and um, so this is something where you just say okay well it's just the way it looks like but probably you never have wondered what these candlesticks uh, look for and um, after this quick introduction um, and hopefully you can still even though it's basic, uh, get something out of it for your trading. Um, we will have a look at three very, very unprofitable trading um, candlestick trading patterns, in fact, um, known as three line strike, three black crows, and then also the evening star. Probably you've heard already about um, the latter one. The first two, um, they are not that known, um, but you can find them over and over again. And um, they are, in fact, very, very profitable in your trading in combination with others. So it's not just that you take the, the pattern and then take it from there and, and enter the trade and, and, and can be um, sure that the trade will turn out to be profitable. But there's a higher certainty that something will happen. And this is exactly um, what we will look at today. And um, so first of all, let's have a look now at um, candlesticks and give a quick introduction here. Um, so first of all, uh, candlestick patterns are technical trading tools which are um, originated in Japan. And uh, they were introduced in the Western trading world from someone um, who you probably have heard about. He has written several books on this um, um, topic. His name is Steve Nyson. Um, uh, you can you can Google him respectively. Um, um, look up your your, your Amazon, uh, probably Amazon.com, and and just type in Steve Nice, and there 
plenty of books around candlesticks. In fact, um, it was the second book I read on uh, trading um, about candlesticks from Nyson. There was an introduction to candlesticks. Um, I started out with, you probably have wondered if it's the second book, what's the first one? The first one was from John J. Murphy um, on the um, technical analysis and um, technical analysis of financial markets. I'm not really sure what the what the English um, 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 header is, but um, I've read it in German. So, uh, but still, um, plenty of books and I'd recommend reading at least one of them to get a deeper understanding. If you want to um, also dig deeper into other um, um, profitable um, candlestick pattern here and then combine them with your overall um, research, respectively trading and put them here into this context. And um, so candlestick charts pack data for multiple timeframes into single price bars and build patterns that predict price direction once completed. That's something which is of high importance um, because probably you have wondered, well, where's the difference? Why it doesn't, it does it really matter? Do I need the candlestick or is it probably enough probably to, to, to take a bar chart or probably a line chart and uh, candlestick sticks, um, they contain the, say, um, the same information as bar charts, but um, what they still have, and this is something you will now see here, um, you have a, a body which um, is of a different color. So in this case, it's the, it's the um, white or the black one. In my case, when I open my chart, the um, rising candles, so where the open is below the closing price of the candle, is a green one, and um, 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 the black one is usually in red. You can also have blue and red, whatever whatever suits your your overall um, 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 style. So it's um, something you can also um, um, uh, where, where we have a chance to to. Um, and the meta trader what's the english word for this so you can um you can find it yourself so with a with a platform which color should be should be um, um shown in my case it's green and 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 um and, and, and red. And in this context, this is where the more in terms of information comes from, uh, which you cannot necessarily see when you when you have a bar chart or it's quite difficult sometimes. Um, yeah, this is this is very interesting. Um, uh, in China, the Darshan just um, wrote here in the chat box in China, rising candles are red. Um, so I, I haven't opened the, the MetaTrader. The reason is because um, the, the, the resources here from my laptop are um, a little let's say, uh, um, 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 <laughs> rising high right now. Um, the interesting thing here is that um, there was um, um, once um, an, an, an upper um, um, a happening or whatever, so uh, where I um, mixed this up. So it was that I, that I clicked on red for the rising bars and then on green for the uh, dropping bars. And, and, and this really uh, completely reversed my overall chart. And I was looking at it, it was completely um, irritating for me. Um, that's very interesting. I didn't know that. Uh, so he also says, or writes here that it's a sign of prosperity um, um, here in terms of, of red. That this is, this is very interesting. So um, um, I, I really, I didn't know that. This is, this is really interesting. Um, so in my, in my case, I put everything um, um, in reverse, let's say. And so I had to, to, to switch back then. But um, as I already pointed out, so everyone will find here, especially in the meta trader environment, what, what perfectly fits his, his personality and his style on how to, to look at charts. It's very important, by the way. So you might probably say, well, we're talking about colors. Is this really of, of importance in your trading? I'd say 100% yes. So because it, it depends on your um, overall, not just personality, but also on your cognitive strengths. So um, we had plenty of webinars in terms of um, 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 trading psychology. And you probably remember not just trading psychology, but, but, but we had also one on uh, very short-term trading on scalping. And um, what I mentioned there was that I said, well, I really need to be in the zone. Um, so I, I really have to be in the moment and really focus on what's happening in the chart to really perform at my highest possible level. So really peak performance um, I'm, I'm trading in this context. And um, it is very important to know yourself and then to perform well. And now you might say, well, what has this to do with colors? I think a lot because you um, feel comfortable when watching the chart or looking at the chart or you don't. So a good friend of mine, for example, um, that has nothing to do with trading now, but a good friend of mine just said um, there is some yeah, it's, it's something wrong with his eyes. Probably we can we can say it like that. It sounds so so um, so harsh or hard, but um, it's like if if he has um, 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 a certain 
light level when he's reading a book um, lying in bed um, it's just like he falls asleep um, within seconds so it's, it's just like he, he looks at, at, at the book and then um, his, his brain starts to um, 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 to, 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 or to, to react when it comes to the light falling onto the lines of the book and then he's just falling asleep right away and this has something to do with with green red something like that he, he once explained this to me and this is something which is very important to know because um if you realize that you look at the chart and you just don't feel comfortable or it's um, um it's it's like um you feel you feel overwhelmed is probably the wrong word but um exhausting or um, that has something probably to do with the colors you show when it comes to the candles. So this is definitely something um, 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 worth remembering, respectively, taking out of the webinar and, and, and here then um, adjust your, your charts accordingly. So that's what I, what I talk about. It's not just colors and, and, and perf personal preference or I like blue or I like, like green or red or whatever, but it's also that um, you... Um, 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 as, a, as a person um, depend or respectively um, use here the colors um, or can use the colors to perform at a higher level, especially when it comes to um, discretionary, very um, 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 high frequency trading in terms of scalping, lots of, of transactions taking place. And then you have to work with lots of information in a very short period of time, flashing lights, and, and, and then adapt um, um, your chart accordingly so that you can perform at your highest um, um, uh, possible level. But let's come back to, to candlesticks here. Um, and so, as I already pointed out, so there are various candlestick patterns used to determine price direction and momentum. We will look at some um, um, here in the next slide. First of all, let's here look at um, what information candles contain. So what you can obviously see, you have here the, the, the white body in this case, and you have a black body. In case of the white body, it's a bullish candle in this case, you have the opening price, which is here, the lower part. And then if the closing price is above, it's obviously a bullish candle. If the opening price is here and the closing price of the candle is below, you have obviously a bearish candle. And then depending on the color, you can straight away directly see um, if it was a bullish candle, if there were more, if there were more biased than sellers or vice versa. Um, then you have the lower shadow here um, and the, the upper shadow. Um, this is also something, and this is obviously where, where candlestick comes from. Um, that's because it looks like a candlestick. Um, so what you can see is if there were um, initially some, some sellers taking con over control, um, pushing the market below the opening print here, and then um, buyers took back control, pushed the market higher here, um, you still can see how much strength or how much demand was there. At least you can get a feeling for that. Um, and the same is also true here on the upside, even though then we're not talking about buyers, but sellers and also vice versa here in terms of the, of the uh, bearish candle. And um, all this um, information here can be found in one candlestick then. And um, at the end of the day, you shouldn't take trading decisions based on solely one candle, but a combination of several candles can um, then give you overall and at least indication of where the overall advantage can be found. And um, in this context now, we wanna, we wanna give an idea on some popular candlestick patterns here and, um, and, and what to do with them. So. This is something you probably have heard about, the so-called hammer pattern. Um, something, um, personal anecdote, little story. Uh, when I started out trading, I was also obviously reading the book on candlesticks. And then um, I'm wondering where I can find turning points. And um, here in this context, combining the news or the um, um, input from the book from Murphy on technical analysis, and there the oscillators, for example, like relative strength index, MACD, um, what do we else we have? CCI, so on and so forth. Um, and especially here, when it comes to relative strength, um, divergences, we also mentioned this and one of the um, earlier webinars here within our trading spotlight webinar series and then um and then seeing this this hammer pattern um and if there's such a hammer um in combination with the bullish divergence that was one of the first reasons why i then um, decided to buy a stock a currency pair, whatever asset that might have been. Um, yeah, same is true on the on the upside. Once you get to see something we refer to as hanging man, even though I have to say, and this is the last pattern here within the slide, you will you will see then the shooting star, um, also one of the most profitable um, 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 patterns probably when it here comes to um, um, 
um, the candlestick pattern we will look at, the profitability, um, I'd say the hammer I like more than I like the hanging man. Um, as you can see here, so with the with the arrows, so which direction should be favored as an indication, what's more likely to happen? Um, just to give you an introduction, so what do we get to see here, knowing um, the the body and how it comes into existence from the slide earlier? Well, we see the opening price here um, at the low, and then you see immediately selling pressure, um, pushing pushing um, prices lower, and then buyers step in. And push the price not just back to the um, um, to the opening price, but also above that, and we close here at the high um, of the of this of this um, um, body here. This is especially um, having a higher significance the higher the time frame is we look at. And what you can obviously see is that you, right from the start of the candle, sellers were in control, and then bolts took over and pushed the market to new highs here. And this is a strong um, 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 this is a strong signal, and it's also even stronger probably if you then combine it with something else like a like a divergence, bullish divergence in this case, where you see markets making new lows, but it's not um, um, confirmed from um, lower lows in the indicator anymore. So this is a point at least, which um, um, let us come to the conclusion that we say, well, probably now the bearish momentum here is shifting, or at least it's losing some steam. So obviously you can see the arrow here, the red one, we come from high, and we push lower and then we reverse and we see a potential reversal happening. This is not necessarily the case here uh, when it comes to uh, the, the hanging man, right? Because you open here at the high of the candle, you push lower and then you see buyers stepping back in and pushing prices higher. This is usually not, at least not what I wanna see. Um, um, if, if I really uh, bet on a potential turning point um, um, happening here in the market because this obviously shows that um, buyers at least for now have not yet lost control but you need the confirmation with the next candle then with potentially here the next candle pushing us below the lows that confirms that we are at, at least put in a, in a short term top in this context um the next candlestick pattern, bullish engulfing, respectively bearish engulfing. I really like that, to be honest. Um, I, I remember there was once um, a presentation I was um, uh, witnessing that was also early, very early in my career. Um, and, and there was a trade fair. And I was participating here in Germany um, at this at this um, um, event that was a seminar, like 40 minutes or so on a, on a, on a trade fair. And um, the interesting thing was that there was a, um, a very successful day trader from the US who gave a presentation here um, in Germany in English, but still. Um, and that was that was really nice to see. And I really well remember how he uh, tried to um, emphasize certain points of his presentation. And um, he was also, I think, running a prop desk, if I remember that right. And um, he was talking about people who applied for at least an internship at his prop desk. And then he said, well, one of the patterns we show the people is like, if you see a big green candle in this and that environment, buy it. If you see a red candle in this and that environment, sell it. Um, and this is what I remember. I don't remember the pattern he was um, um, making a topic back then, but it, it, after that, um, and, and when going, um, I'm here again into reading the books from Nyson on candlesticks, um, it, it dawned on me that, that he was probably referring to something candlestick um, chartists here talk about um, when, they, when they call bullish engulfing patterns, respectively bearish engulfing patterns. So what's happening here? So you're coming from, from um, higher, pushing lower, so bears are in control. And then in case of a bullish engulfing, you see buyers stepping in and pushing us back to new highs and not just that it's not just that that that, that we that we that we push here above um, um the former high of the day and showing that bears are losing at least steam but in addition to that when, when carefully watching you can see and this is especially true when it comes to stocks where you have the chance of seeing a gap so this is not very common um, in in the fx world where you have a 24 5 market um so you see um a gap lower when when we open here so this is the closing price remember and here is now the opening price you can see there's a difference a negative difference which means there's a down gap and then we open and then we see a quick flush on the downside so here this is where the the, the shadow comes from and then buyers take 
control. And it's not just that they take control, but they push us here to new highs. And we can see that this bearish candle from the day before or the hour before, whatever, um, is completely included within here. This, let's call it an outside bar. Probably you have heard about this in, in bar chart theory then. Um, it's an outside bar, inside bars. And, and here, so this is showing that, that really buyers are now have taken control. This is especially strong once you get to see um, um, such a divergence. And the same is true here for a bearish pattern too. So this is also something which usually works pretty well. Um, this is especially a strong, a strong um, um, scenario where you get to see some kind of, let's say, sentiment extreme, where you get to see a fundamental catalyst, um, um, which immediately, while well, I don't know, is, is, is sold off because, let's say, stock XYZ um, is giving um, a lowered guidance, but has already seen that the market um, um, sold off heavily the months before. This is an environment in which we currently find ourselves. Um, if, we, if we look back at from November, so tech stocks were sold out heavily. Um, and you see the guidance was lowered, was lowered again. And many stocks, DocuSign, for example. So today, probably DocuSign is hot. Let's see if, if such a pattern occurs here. I'm not really certain about that. Um, but they lowered the guidance. And then much of this negativity is already priced in. You get lower. And then you see that buyers taking back control. Let's see if this happens today. And, and we're, we're um, 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 closing above or in region around the highs of the day before. This is usually a strong sign that um, the button, at least short term, is in and that we're probably reversing respectively vice versa by the way if i talk about so here's the morning star and the evening star this is what we want to look at here um in a few seconds but i have to just here um fill in some details on my on my um slide i use for my trading today so docu is obviously on my on my watch list um, and I, what I do now is I, I look at the pre-market volume and how much how much volume was traded in the pre-market and in docu especially We've seen now what I have here, 1.26 million shares being traded already in pre-market. Usually average daily trading volume is 4.5 million. So this is more than more than 20, nearly 30 percent, which is which is quite um, 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 high, in fact, which is showing already that the stock is hot. And Rivian, um, also very, very weak guidance was was um, considered to be a potential Tesla rival. Well. When looking at the numbers, we can see that um, they have to put in some some work to uh, to be recognized as a direct competitor from from Tesla, even though the stock was already very beaten down um, before. Let's see. So probably Docu is very interesting. Let me just check here. Okay. Um, so I have no all details to be fully prepared on once the webinar ends here um, to to start out with my. With my trading but let's come back to the presentation so here we have the morning star and the evening star remember that um so this is one of the profitable setups i will i will show you here um uh, in the in the latter slide in the, in the later stage of this webinar morning star you can see heavy selling pressure big red candle then the market is fighting for price let's say um or fighting um, um for a fight between bulls and bears probably this is a better way to put it and, and you can see that still there's probably lots of volume being done here, but there's no much pressure on the up and downside. Um, so it's not that that we're that we're completely reversing the down day, respectively, that we continue to massively sell out on the downside. But um, buyers and sellers are fighting here. Um, um, and at the end, you will also have a, a quite significant um, 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 volume being traded potentially at this at this level, which is showing that there's really like a, like a balance between these two. And then the next day, you see then the buyers gain control, pushing us above the highs before, and we start to, 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 to reclaim um, here, not just the highs, but most of this um, 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 of the selling, which has taken place the day prior to that. Um, this is something we have to be careful about, because um, what I'd like to see for, for the market really to reverse here and, and, and to have a strong indication that we probably put in a low, is not just that we see lots of volume being traded here um, into this range around these lows, but also that we make it above the highs of the uh, huge selling candle here. The same is also true here for the, for the evening star. Um, and finally, the inverted hammer, same idea as here with the hammer. I don't like this pattern. I like this 
very much, the, um, um, in this case, shooting star. Why? Well, because um, we are here betting on a market reversing, putting in a, a high. And if you see here the market pushing higher and then selling out and closing at the lows of the day, this is a clear sign of weakness. While if we open here, see buyers step in, push us higher, and then giving back most of the gains, I don't like that anymore um, because I want to see that buyers stay in control till the end of the day. This is also something um, which, which can be of, of use when it comes to um, um, trading stocks, for example. So if you have an earnings release and then after the earnings, you have um, um, lots of volume being traded. Let's say it's a bullish earnings release and then the market pushes higher on the earnings release and we close within the highs of the day. I really like the stock for the next day too because I think that now probably institutions, portfolio managers, and so on and so forth are also recognizing um, the the bullish the bullish guidance probably the stock the company XYZ gave and the bullish outlook for the stock and then buying the stock on the second day um, and this is this is something I I pre I, I, I'm, I'm like way more than I like here giving back most of these gains so that's why the inverted hammer and the hanging man are not on my on my radar but I like the hammer and the shooting star especially because that shows that buyers respectively sellers um, stayed into control over over um, um, the whole day in this context. So, and now let's have a look here at the patterns I introduced at the beginning, the three line strike. You can already see here, by the way, the accuracy rate of 84%. Just one thing, very important. Um, it's not that I did the research on that, but there's another fantastic book. It's called The Encyclopedia of Candlestick Charts from Thomas Bukowski. Um, and this guy sat down and analyzed several several candlestick pattern and um, tried to find out the hit rate um, based on lots of, of, of markets he, he analyzed and did research on. And the, the pattern I now present to you are the patterns which are here um, written down in the book from Bulkowski. If you need further information on the patterns themselves, but also on other uh, patterns, which could be of interest um, when trading candlesticks, then I highly recommend reading the book here from, from, from uh, Thomas. And the, it's called The Encyclopedia of Candlestick Choice. Just go uh, to Amazon, as I already mentioned at the beginning, and, and, and uh, um, look it up. I'm not really sure if it's still available. That's definitely something to keep in mind. But um, at least this is the title of the book. So three line strike. Um, three line strike is a candlestick reversal pattern aiming to predict a change in price direction. So it's not um, a continuation pattern or something like that, but it's like a reversal pattern. And in case of a bullish um, um, three line strike, you can also have a bearish um, three line strike. Then you see the market going up. So you change downtrend to uptrend. You see three um, 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 rising green candles, and then you see a big green candle. Yeah, in case of a bull market respect or a bullish reversal, respectively, a red candle, in case of a bearish reversal. And um, you can already, once you understand how these candles are built, you can already see why this is obviously a strong pattern. Um, so let's come back here to the bullet points and then just go through this here with, with my um, um with, with my words, let's say, respectively, my my um, um read on this, how I interpret this. So in case of a bullish three-line strike, we see three bearish candles, which each bar posting a lower low and close near the intra bar low. So you see continuous um selling pressure and it's um not um, um, um disappearing so you see sellers are in control selling out the day next day sellers in control selling out sellers on control next day third day and then there's a clear change in character you see uh the fourth bar um opening lower you see probably a, a small flush out on the downside and you probably can also see this now in, in the current environment. So have a look at, at equities like um, um, S&P 500, NASDAQ. So with all the things happening right now, it's not just in terms of um, inflation and Fed policy. By the way, next week on uh, Wednesday, we'll cover uh, the Fed life. So um, I'll, I'll be there and, and guide you here through this through this um, event. And um, but also with the Ukraine risk aversion hitting, you see probably heavily selling, heavily selling. And then there's a clear change in character. And the fourth day we open lower, we probably make um, a slight lower low, and then we see a strong reversal on the upside. And um, we see this, this wide, yeah, let's call it wide range outside bar that closes above the high of the first candle in the series. And um, reason for that, 
is there's several reasons why, why the market reverses that strongly um, and why it's likely that it continues to rise also in the future and, and that this is the case can be found here in, in, in Thomas book here with an accuracy of 84%. What you get to see in such a market environment is like um, you get a short squeeze respectively. In this moment here, you're also um, um, see not, not just a, um, um, a short squeeze, but also potential profit taking. Um, so it all comes together, a very bearish sentiment in general. And then um, these bears are really run over. So it's like you see sellers, sellers on control, sellers in control. If the, um, um, especially social media headlines where newspapers are also adding to the overall risk aversion, you see lots of skepticism. The world is coming to an end for whatever reason that might be. Um, everyone is bearish, or you, it feels at least very bearish. You look at the chart, you see selling all over the place, and then something just clicks. The risk reward is getting unattractive. Institutionals will probably pull the trigger here and sold out the portfolios um, are finding it very unattractive now to keep on selling the fourth day because the risk reward for selling here into this already um, um, quite obvious weakness is getting more and more unattractive. So the selling dissipates, and then you see, okay, well, I'm probably taking some small profits on my short position. That might be one domino, which is which is um, 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 flipping or whatever, and, and one market participants. And then you see another one saying, okay, well, probably we're done on the downside. I was here for the momentum. Let's just see how things play out. And then you see um, um, a, a cascade here of buyers stepping in by closing out their short positions. And then the ones who are short and getting caught on the wrong foot here, um, all, and it starts to accelerate. You, the, the guys from the third day, well, they are now underwater. So everyone who sold from the beginning of day three is underwater once we take out here the opening print, respectively, depending on how much volume was turned over. Probably it's already starting lower. And then we accelerate on the upside. The second day is I'm taken over. And the third day is taken over. And this is then creating such a massive short squeeze. We have seen that, by the way, um, last Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken. If you look at the DAX, for example, it's a perfect example. It's not necessarily, I haven't I'm looked it up. It's not a three-line strike, which we got to see there. But the idea, the psychology behind this move is um, exactly that. And the reason, um, especially if you saw strong selling three days in a row here, is then adding to the overall accuracy rate from, from, from over 80% in this um, in pattern. Um, and yeah, so probably this is something to, to keep an eye on, keep and, and, and remind yourself of once you get to see this, this environment with a very extended mode on the downside, that this is probably um, having a high chance of seeing a strong reversal. And um, let's have a look here at the next pattern. So three black crows. Three black crows, this is... This is something which is now completely the opposite of what I just said. Um, and also heavily depending on the sentiment, because now you see three red candles um, and we say, OK, if we if we saw. Uh, but this is the big difference. You have to see an uptrend before. So and this 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 is where the difference comes into play. Let's go back here to this slide. So you have a downtrend. We come from higher, make lower lows. And then you see the reversal and this short covering or relief rally or short squeeze, however you put this. If you here look at this chart, it's very important to note the difference. In this case here, we see an uptrend. So we come from here and then you see an accelerating down move or move on the downside. This is something also, um, check out the charts yourself. Have a look at what happened in January, especially. You saw that it wasn't really the selling off taking place in NASDAQ and the S&P and the DAX, in the DAX, for example, but it took some time and the market dipped lower, dipped lower, and then it started to accelerate because now market participants are starting to, to get um, curious if there's probably a stronger driver. Then the state, they, they, they start to make, um, to build a story behind what they get to see in the chart. So the market is dropping. Well, sure, the market is dropping. I mean, the Fed is talking about rate hikes um, 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 reducing the QE, um, balance sheet reduction, um, and so on and so forth. So certainly market will, 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 will accelerate on the downside. Then you see the invasion of the Ukraine from the Russians. No one thought it would, was possible, or at least me, let's put it that way. And then 
you see a further um, um, bearish catalyst here adding to the selling pressure. Um, and this is this is very, very um, important distinction you have to make here. Um, so we're coming from a market which makes continuously higher highs, and then you see the market accelerating on the downside with three black crows, as we um, um, call this in, in the candlestick theory. So three black, three black crows is a candlestick reversal pattern, which aims to predict a change in price direction, okay, as the one before. And it starts at or near the high of an uptrend with three bars positioning lower lows that close near the intraval lows. Um, and the pattern predicts that the decline will continue to lower lows, as a, resulting in a broader scale downtrend. Um, it has an accuracy rate of 78%, but still you have to make a distinction here and also closely watch um, not just the pattern itself, but also the overall BS. So where's the sentiment right now? Um, what is driving the market? So you have to have a bigger picture um, to make this pattern as the one before um, um, profitable for your trading could be that you see here um, the market continuing lower but still you probably get to see at least um, an attempt for a short covering here so which means like um, a short squeeze similar to that but you see there's a certain tipping point once reached um, resulting in a cascade squeezing us higher. In this case, you probably get to see an attempt here to push us higher and to squeeze out the shorts, but it fails. And the market sees a probably a short push higher, but it's sold off immediately and makes new lows, which then has a high chance of continuously um, um, trading lower uh, from, from there with an accuracy rate here of 78%. And um, also, all informations, all details in the encyclopedia here of candlestick charts from, from Bulkowski. And um, finally, the evening star. Um, we already had the evening star uh, in, the, in the slide earlier when I, when I introduced some, some uh, candlestick patterns. And the bearish evening star reversal pattern um, starts with a tall white bar carrying an uptrend to a new high. So you can see here we have an uptrend and then we, we start to top out. So sellers are also stepping in and holding us lower or at least, and, and this is especially strong here, once we are, uh, once we are, once we are um, um, see a high volume, a high turnover taking place because then obviously buyers um, um, are buying from the people who are already potentially bought earlier and take profits here. And once um, uh, the, 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 the buying disappears, as we do then get to see in the third day, we see a sharper drop on the downside. So the market, first of all, gets higher. So there's optimism in the place after, after this, this, this push higher here. But then the buyers disappear. Um, and with sellers not stepping up yet, resulting, we, we, we get at least to see, first of all, we get to see um, such a narrow range um, candlestick here, most uh, the, the, probably increasing the likelihood of it playing out if um, there's a huge turnover and lots of volume being traded here. And um, then with the third bar, you get to see uh, that buyers are now stepping out of the way. So they're not pushing prices higher anymore. This is especially strong once we get to see a huge extension on the upside. And um, in this case, we, we now see not just the market dropping, but also closing below here, pushing below um, the, the low of the day. So also the market participants who pushed prices higher in this candle are now on the water. And uh, this is um, um, giving us a chance of seeing the market lower based on here, Bulkowski's uh, statistics of 72%, known as evening star pattern. And then with a yeah, accuracy 72%, hit rate of 72% that we are continually, continuously um, um, trading lower from there and at least um, retrace some of the most recent gains we've seen in the in the uptrend and now i have a have a, a quick glance here at my at my clock i i see that um we are we are running out of time in fact um so no questions so far um that brings us to the summary for today. So candlestick patterns are technical trading tools which are originated in Japan. We're brought from Japan over to the Western trading world from a guy called Steve Nyson. Steve Nyson wrote several books, 
look them up um, on Amazon. It's definitely worth your time and also um, worth your money. If you if you plan to buy them, um, you definitely get something out of them. It's um, um, something you, you have to know, you have to be aware of, um, especially when using them in your daily trading. And this is most likely the case because um, this is like a default um, in every trading station. And I have not yet found anyone who um, went back from candlesticks to bar charts or line charts, in fact. Um, and um, the reason why candlesticks are um, so of, of so much use and 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 um, such um, 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 worth 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 worthy for for traders is um, that they pack data for multiple time frames into a single price bar and build patterns that predict price direction once completed. And you can draw conclusions out of the likelihood that one thing will happen over um, something else. And uh, the huge popularity has lowered, in fact, over time, um, the, the um, um, uh, reliability of these patterns. Very important to note, because the more people watch them, the more efficient the market becomes. But still, there are patterns which can be traded profitably, um, thanks to their high accuracy, um, um, which I just presented to you. So the free line strike with 84%, um, free black crows with 78%, and evening star. Still, it's not sad that purely statistic you speak in. Um, you just take the patterns and then trade them. But in addition to that, you have also have an overall view on the market. And where do we trade? What's the current bias in the market? What are the news which are coming in? Um, making it a more complex topic. But still, um, if you, um, in a, under certain market conditions and in a certain market environment, find these patterns, then the likelihood of them playing out seems to be um, 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 definitely given. So. What time frame is most representative for these success percentages? Um, the daily chart, the daily chart. Um, but again, as I already said, um, um, all details, let's go back here, um, will be found, can be found here in the Encyclopedia of Candlestick Chart. But usually, um, you, you also in general, you say that um, the higher the time frame, the more likely the pattern is uh, to play out because the more information um, is contained in this pattern. So if I look at the three um, line strike or three black close or, or evening star, um, if I look this up in a, in a minute chart, one minute, um, the, the information value is close to zero. If I look this up on a daily chart or probably even a weekly chart, uh, then the accuracy um, um, pushes significantly higher. But you can, you can use this information. You might probably say, well, I'm a short-term trader, so I'm not really looking at the daily chart. But still, it probably can make sense um, to get an overall idea where today's advantage can be found and what's more likely to happen and then take it here from the higher time frame and go down to your um, 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 traded time frame and say, for example, if I see a three line strike um, in my chart, then it's likelier that we get to see if it's a bullish pattern then in my chart happening that today will also be a long day. If, if this level, for example, is taken out and then take it from there, even if you're trading on a minute chart or on a five minute chart. Um, that's it. So all details um, here around Admirals as a broker can be found on the website, admiralmarkets.com. Send an email if you have any questions. Um, check out the YouTube channel. If you have um, 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 any questions in general, again, the email, great. But also leave a comment below the video. If you watch the recording on YouTube, leave a thumb up here. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Set a reminder so that you don't miss any of the videos which we are producing for you. And fully regulated broker. That's one thing I'd like to add here. Fully regulated, that means we have to end the webinar with a risk disclaimer. Please read it carefully. Trading involves risks, and uh, you should be aware of them. And that's it from my end. So I hope you enjoyed the webinar as much as I enjoyed preparing it for you. Next week on Wednesday, we talk again with the FAT. Register for the event um, on the website at myMarkets.com. And I look forward to it. Have a nice weekend. Enjoy yourself. See you. Bye-bye.